Well, hello, brothers and sisters. Here I am again with a simple little Christian parable. You know, with a little modern twist. I mean, everybody loves dogs, right? So let's meditate on those uh, man's best friends. Well, there's a little dog. He, like so many, he, he, was, he needed to be trained. He, he had to be put on a leash. He had to be controlled for a while until he could recognize the owner's voice and would just come at his command and stop and behave according to his master's very commands. Until that day, as a puppy, he had to be put on leash and be trained into that obedience. Yet that dog still would go and eat garbage. And of course, like every dog, he would vomit and eat his own vomit because he is a dog. That doesn't take away the fact that that dog loved his master. Unconditionally just gave himself over to him. No matter what the master would do, he would simply trust him. Now let's just change the word dog for sheep. Yeah, I'm talking about us here. I know too many young brothers and sisters who think that they can completely understand and know God's voice. They, they, they know when the Spirit's leading them and they have yet to read the entire Bible, let alone study it. Brothers and sisters, to know God's voice, first of all, you got to go to His Word. That's why He spoke. You know that, then you'll understand when the Spirit's leading you. We need that leash. We need that protection. We need that structure, that rule, before you can start roaming around thinking you know what God is saying. And it's pride only that makes us run away thinking, no, I know. You can't tell me. Take away that leash. Humility would say, I need that. And I probably need it more than I, longer than I think I know it. I know I need it. And just like a dog, also, we have the to eat the garbage of the world. Even sometimes the very Christian world, especially here in the West, we eat almost anything that causes off Christian. It seems yummy. We don't have that kind of discerning. But again, we grow into it by having the word renew our minds. We have a tendency sometimes to eat our own, well, I'm sorry, but vomit, our own stupid words, our own mistaken word. We, we preach things and say things and we're so sure that it's true that we end up eating themselves. And make yourself sick. That's why it's much better sometimes, especially in the beginning of our salvation, to talk less, listen a lot more. But I also like a, a good dog. We, we love our master. We are to trust God no matter what. And more we grow, more we become abandoned and trusting our God. Truly like a... Uh, trust our God like a dog. Trust our God like a dog. So, hopefully this little parable made you think for a while and will be a blessing to you. Along that, brothers and sisters, I love you and God bless.